Today I'll teach you some really cool website animations using Wix Studio. They do not require any coding and can be set up in just a few minutes. If you're into no-code web development, then this one single tutorial will help you save a lot of time. My name is Ansh Mehra and I educate businesses all across the world about design and technology. This is part 2 of our no-code web development course using Wix Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. Now to quickly revise, we are using Wix Studio, a no-code web platform. In our previous episode, I taught you all the basics and if you haven't seen it, don't worry, you can always watch it later. Today, I will teach you three web animation effects. The first one will help you change elements on your screen according to your cursor movement. Next effect will help you add custom cursors. And in the end, we learn how to add simple hover animations. Let's start with example number one. Let's learn our first example, which is for cursor tracking. And just to revise, you have to first go to wix.com create your account and then in your account on your dashboard you'll have all your websites available so right now i'm working on this specific website so i've already opened up my wix studio and just to show you what we're trying to create if i click on this preview icon right here you will notice that wherever my cursor is going these clouds are following and if i were to turn off this cursor pro you'd realize that i also have this flash symbol as a custom cursor which we will learn eventually so we'll figure out how exactly do you create this effect. Now I'll click on edit site again and what I'll do is section from scratch. So, so if I hover between any of these two sections and click on add section, I'll have an empty canvas to start from. Let me go and click on add an element. I will open up this quick action menu and here in my sections, let me find something that looks interesting. So maybe I can put something like this. As soon as I click that, you'd see that this section has been inserted in my entire website. Now, if there's any changes that I want to add, I can always go to my layers panel and see that within this section, I have two more cells. So on the bottom, we have this welcome cell and then we have the hello cell. I don't think I will need the welcome cell. So I'll simply go and click on delete. Now, the way I'm visualizing my interaction is that right next to hello, I want like some sort of a hand or a pencil that is sort of drawing, right? So it should feel like that hand is right on top of hello and it should follow my cursor. Now to add a specific element, I need to add a container and this empty container will have that specific file that will follow my cursor. I know it might sound complicated, but once I show you how it works, you'll understand everything. So what I will do is that I will right click on cell, go to quick add and select container. As soon as I do that, I will get this small little box I don't want this container to have a background, but I do want to have it a media. So I'll go and click on add media. Now you can either upload your own images or PNGs, but I would always recommend you to add an SVG because SVG files are vector graphics. So they take less space and they are faster to load. And what I can do is I can go here and in my filter, instead of images, I can select vector art. By the way, this effect would work on anything, but for now we're choosing a vector art. And then within my vector art, I can choose between a bunch of different categories. So if I were to go to maybe say select objects, let's see what we'd have. So we have something uh, like this. We have this hand that is holding a pencil. I can simply select that. By the way, there are too many options. You can try whatever you want to. And I will click on add to page. Now, as soon as I do that, my vector art is going to be inserted within this container, but I don't want any background inside this container. So on the very right side, where I have all of my customization options, I will simply reduce the opacity. Now I could have dragged this, otherwise I could have also typed zero as well. And let me take this hand and put it here. By the way, you can always scale the container and the image inside of it. So maybe I can put it this way. Now it is always recommended to have your container size match the size of your vector. So you can see as soon as I select my container, that is the bounding box. And this is my bounding box for the vector. Now we'll simply take my container and drag it maybe to this corner. Now we have the container ready. Now we have to tell Wix Studio that this container should follow the movement of my cursor. For that, I will go to the right side menu and click on animations and effects. 
Now, within animation effects, we have a bunch of available options. We have entrance, hover, click, scroll, loop, a lot of things. Let me explain them to you one by one. Now, I have already explained how entrance works in video one, but just to revise, you can decide how this element can appear as soon as the user scrolls. So as soon as this container comes into the viewport, you can trigger a specific animation. So for example, if I select fade and click on adjust animation, I can select the duration, maybe keep it say 0.5 seconds. And as soon as I preview, you'd notice that it would just fade in right now. I can click on edit site again and go options menu. And this time I will select mouse effects, which is the last item. So you would notice that moving the mouse triggers an effect on the selected item. Now to do that, please make sure that you've selected your vector art. Once I have selected my vector art, I can go to mouse effects and click on add. As soon as I do that, I will have a bunch of options available. Now there are a lot of things that you can do. For example, if I simply select track in two dimension, it would just follow my cursor. And if I click on adjust animation, there are two components that I can fix. One is the distance. So can you see how as soon as I've put my cursor, the vector is going away from my cursor. It is of course following, but there's a specific distance that exists between my cursor and the vector art. Now, if I reduce this distance, maybe to say 30 pixels, you'd realize that now it is not moving too far away. It is of course following my cursor's direction, but it's pretty subtle. And I can always change the velocity as well so I can make it faster. So that way, if we have like a nice, say 50 pixel of gap, now it's following pretty well. So now it doesn't feel like it's lagging. And if I go to adjust track, you can see that I can also choose tilt 3D. So once I do that, I can always preview this. I can click on the eye menu and you'd notice that now it is following my cursor in three dimensions. So it's a very, very interesting effect. Usually if you were to make this via code, it would take you hours in general. But with Wix Studio, you simply need to select your object, go to the animations panel and select whatever effects you want. But the right category is mouse effects. Now, if I go again and click on edit site, I can again go using my vector art and the way I'm moving into container and vector art is by clicking again. So if I click once, I would select the container. If I click again, I would select the vector art. Now, please note that you can only have one mouse effect at one point, which is you cannot have tilt 3D and pan together. So let's just say I select skew 3D and go back and preview again. It fades in but it has like this nice, interesting skew. My goal here is to show you how all of these things work so that eventually you can play around and you can do this with multiple objects. So right now I've just shown one vector art, but eventually you can have all of these different things and they all will follow your cursor very, very easily. Now, next example is for adding a custom cursor. So as you can see, once I click on preview, the cursor is just like a basic cursor, right? But do you notice how my cursor quickly switched into this zap icon as soon as I entered in my first fold? Now, this thing is called a custom cursor. Now, by default, every website that you make would always have a default cursor. But by adding a new cursor, you just add a bit more spice to your entire experience. Now to do this, what you have to do is go back to your editing mode, click on layers and select the section where you want the custom cursor. So let's just say this is the section where I want a new cursor. I will go here in my design panel, scroll to the very bottom and select on cursor right here. Now in my media, I can either upload an image or an SVG. I recommend you to add an SVG because SVGs load way, way faster. Now, by default, Wix has already opened up a menu. So if I search cursor, I have all of these different available options. You can always upload your own thing as well. I can probably choose something interesting like this diamond symbol right here and click on add to site. As soon as I do that, you would see that this cursor is going to be available right here and I can also increase the size. So I personally feel like a 90 pixel cursor looks pretty sweet. So if you want to preview this, you still have to go to preview mode. And as soon as I do that, you can see that not only I have the hand following my cursor movement, but I also have this cute little cursor in just a few seconds. And you can obviously see how easy and seamless this can be. You can upload any design which matches your own company and you can make these SVG files either in Figma or Adobe Illustrator. Just make sure that it's a vector file, specifically an SVG file. 
and that's it you can now create custom looking cursors in no time the last effect that i want to show you is for adding hover animations now this interaction can add a lot of life to your static website because in most cases you want some movement as the user is interacting right so when you're hovering you should have some interesting items that open up as you're hovering right so this example right here is for an hover animation now hover is an interaction that only exists for desktop websites because on mobile we have to tap and press because on mobile we only have tap and pressed which means that in any hover interaction there is a default state and a hovered state and if needed you can also have a third state which would be pressed now the difference is that when my cursor is not on the object my object is going to be in its default state for example this menu right here has all of these four different rows now at this specific moment service design row is in its default state because my cursor is not on top of it the ux design row is in its hovered state because my cursor is hovering on top of ux design when i click on this i can have my press state right now i haven't added any press state but you can do that if you want to i will put external documentations and tutorials in the description that will help you get deeper into this now let me click on edit site and show you how this works Wix Studio has a bunch of hover based animation presets so there's not one single thing that you can do what's even better is that you can pick a pre-existing section on Wix Studio and tweak it to match it for your own liking for example I've already added this section right and I've sort of edited this I can change the text and I can sort of put small small details for every single hover state so what you have to do is that you have to select the element that you want the hover animation to work on for example i will select this hello text right here and on the top right corner and on the top we have animation effects and here i will select hover and please make sure that you have the right layer selected i will simply select on add and now i have a bunch of different options to work with for example i can select color which is a pretty interesting one and in my adjust animation i can change the color that will appear once i have hovered so maybe i can choose a brighter shade and i can probably have an ease in uh, because it just makes it look more smoother as soon as you're done tweaking your settings you have to click on preview and let's have my hover hand coming in and as soon as i hover on top of hello you can see that the color changes and it has this very smooth uh, subtle fade effect so as soon as my cursor is within the boundaries of the text we would have the animation triggered and as soon as my cursor goes out of the boundary it would just go back to its normal state now just to give you a tentative idea if i go again on my hover animations and maybe select something like expand you'd notice that now instead of I have a much more interesting effect where on hover i would just have the text come on top in fact let me show you how the like so we had the cover we had the hello text i had a bunch of options and by the way we had created this in video number 1 uh i have experimented with a bunch of things uh, where you know things are coming up we have a form we have a header we have a footer now i wouldn't want all of us to jump to a head it's extremely important that you try these small small effects yourself first if you haven't seen episode number 1 where i teach the basics then please finish that episode and then come back to this episode right here and make your first responsive website with any of the three effects i've taught you you can try wix studio for free by going to the link in description take a screenshot of your wix studio and upload a gif of your website on social media tag me and wix studio we would love to see what you've built here see with all of these no code platforms it's becoming easier and easier to make websites and every small business every company every startup out there needs a website right even content creators are requiring a website so if you do this syllabus well and all of the videos and the courses are attached in the description in less than a month you will be able to create extremely professional looking websites without any coding very very easily right from wix studio Let me know in the comments if you'd like more detailed videos on Wix Studio. You can let me know what topics would you want me to cover in detail because till now I have only covered the basics. If you're here for the first time, make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon right now so that you always keep learning with us. More than 80% of you have still not subscribed to us. 
please make sure that you do that to help us make better videos. We regularly make detailed YouTube videos on AI, chat GPT, prompt engineering, mid journey and many other cool topics. We've trained companies, corporations and institutions all over the world and this YouTube channel is for those students who cannot attend our live sessions. We've launched free learning platforms like howtoprompt.in to learn about AI and learnuiux.in to learn about Figma, product design and design systems. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Ansh Mehra signing out. Now if you want to learn web development or app design for free, then these two playlists will help you get started very easily. I've explained all the basics from scratch.